welcome back to my channel. This is your at ease, your at there on YouTube. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright, so ang topic natin today is stretch mark. <laughs> okay, so stretch mark. Guys, I have two kids. Meron akong dalawang boys. Four and five years old, and I'm lucky not to have stretch mark. Actually, pero maniwala ka yung ate ba? So hindi ako nagkaroon ng stretch mark. Meron akong linea nigra. This is what that's what you call it, linea nigra. Pero I I I didn't have any stretch mark dun sa pagbubuntis ko ng dalawa. Okay. So, meron akong actually ginamit na product para mawala or para hindi ako magkaroon ng stretch mark. Okay? <laughs> Alright. Pero kung gusto niyo malaman yun, please stay tuned. Please continue watching kasi I'm gonna reveal it at the end of the video. Okay? Okay, so guys, um, if you're actually pregnant, um, if you are planning to have a baby soon, have planning to have a family soon, um, kung medyo curvy kayo ngayon and you want to, to lose weight, gusto niyo pumayat, maybe this video is perfect for you, especially if you don't want to have stretch mark, right? Okay, and if you're one of those persons that I've mentioned, please continue watching para malaman nyo kung ano nga ba ang ginamit kong product para makaiwa sa stretch mark. And also, of course, i-mention ko lang, uh, not because it, naging effective siya sa akin, naging effective mo siya sa inyo. And I'm not saying exactly na gamitin niyo tong product na to or um, this is only just based on my experience and I just want to share it with you guys because maybe it's going to be effective for you, right? Especially if you're only 18, 19, 22, 25 and, and dalaga pa kayo at planning nyo talaga na magkaroon ng, um, ng anak in the future at ayaw nyo naman na magkaroon ng stretch mark. Well, this video is for you. Oh, and by the way, I'm not saying that stretch mark is not good right or stretch mark is you know stretch mark is really a proud 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 something for a woman especially pag pag yung galing sa pagbubuntis kasi alam mo yun battle scar na ang tawag nila dun eh. so um hindi ako nagkaroon ng stretch mark kasi uh well i'd say it's a choice for me okay kasi Ayoko magkaroon ng stretch mark. Okay? I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm not saying it's an ugly thing. No. 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 Okay? It just so happened na when I was pregnant with my eldest, iniwan ako ng father nung, nung anak ko. So, I was seven years single mom. Nung iniwan ako, I was already like four months pregnant with my child and nag-research ako kasi ayaw kong magkaroon ng stretch mark diba? kasi single mom na ako right? so yun and then uh, nag-succeed naman na hindi ako nagkaroon ng stretch mark yeah and yeah so again it's like a choice okay my choice and it so happened that it worked for me. So hopefully it's going to work for you too. Okay. So please keep on watching. So, uh, um, and because before I reveal what's the product that I've used. Gusto ko muna i-clear sa inyo, ano ba yung stretch mark? Yan ba yung kinakamot mo habang buntis ka? Sobrang kate. <laughs> well, no. Stretch mark is the stretch 
that leaves mark. Okay, for example, let's say this plastic bag is your skin. So you stretch mo siya. Bibi natin natin. Yeah, you see that? That is the stretch mark. See? Diba? Ganito yun eh. Kapag yung, yung mga nakatapos yung stretch mo, sa makikita mo na rin talaga. That's how it looks like. Okay? So, hindi ko siya kinamot, pero, <laughs> pero, have a look. Kasi nga, na-stretch yung skin mo. So, yun yung stretch mark. And, bakit tayo nagkakaroon ng stretch mark? Um, I'm not an expert, okay? But I think the reason why we're having a stretch mark because our skin is getting stretched. <laughs> and, ako na masige. Pag-usapan natin yung ako. Bakit at paano ako hindi nagkaroon ng stretch mark? Well, sabi ni Lights the Jades. Kasi daw, swarthy ako. I'm the lucky one. Well, maybe, maybe not. Kasi, yeah, yung sister ko, nanganak din siya, pero nagkaroon din siya ng stretch mark. And I know some of my cousin, na nung nanganak, may mga stretch marks sila. I don't know anybody of my cousin who gave birth na walang stretch mark. Okay, except for me. So, and even my mom has, right? And yeah, so it could be the jeans or it could be that product that actually helped me. And... Yun. So, yung product na, na, na sinasabi ko, nakatulong siya. Pero, I think the best thing that actually helped me is the diet. Kasi, yung skin natin, yung katawan natin, meron na siyang natural collagen. Ano ba yung collagen? In every, almost every part of our body, andun ang collagen. Nasa pinaka-tissue siya, sa mga buto-buto, ilalim, joints, tendo, tendons, nandun ang collagen. And the collagen actually helps your body to heal. Isa siya dun sa tumutulong dun sa, sa, sa skin mo, sa katawan mo, para ma gumaling yung, yung skin mo. Pag, para maging elastic yung skin mo, para maging naturally looking healthy, yun yung collagen, right? And, so, paano akong hindi nagkaroon ng, ng, ng stretch mark? So, for me, nung 15 years old pa lang ako, bago ako magkaanak, nakita ko na how bad is the sugar, how bad is the soft drinks for our body. So, 15 years old pa lang ako, hindi na ako umiinom ng soft drink. But instead, I'm drinking fresh juice, orange juice, apple juice, or sometimes strawberry, citrus, especially my favorite, calamansi and lemon juice. Yan. Um, yeah. So, yung sugar, hindi siya nakakatulong sa, 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 sa atin. Okay? And then, drink lots of water, moisturize, Alam mo yung bago ka matulog, mag-lotion ka, mag-moisturize ka ng skin mo. And vitamin D. So, I'm, a, uh, I'm an athlete when I was a kid. So, alas 5, alas 6, paraming madaling araw, malabas na kami para mag-jogging. So, yung sunlight, yun, di ba nga, yun yung sabi nila na, um, kahit yung baby, di ba, kapag kapanganak mo, ilalabas mo yung baby, paparawan mo yung baby para makaiwas sa jaundice. Ayan. Hindi jaundice ha. Jaundice. Yun yung nalinilaw yung skin. Yun actually ang gamot sa jaundice. Yung, yung sikat ng araw. Sa umaga, okay? Huwag naman yung alas 12. Baka naman pag, pag, pagbalik mo yung anak mo, ano na, pinrito na. <laughs> Ayan. So, um, ano pa ba? Yun. Yun nga. So, yung collagen. Pero nag-cheat ako. Nag-cheat ako. <laughs> Hindi kasi sinulat ko yung mga kailangan ko. So, ang dami, 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 daming um, plants and animals that we can actually um, get uh, collagen. Okay. So, ang daming source ng collagen. 
Pero meron yung natural collagen. I think this is like a trend now. Yung broth, collagen broth. Yung papakuloan mo ng sobrang tagal yung mga buto-buto hanggang sa actually halos matunaw na siya. Tapos, yung collagen nun, mag meltdown na. So, magiging kasama na siya ng soup. ligaments, bones, joints, lahat yon doon nakastuck yung collagen. So, kapag pinakuloan mo siya ng matagal, yung collagen maglulusin. So, sasama na siya dun sa soup. So, pag ininom mo yung soup, yan, it's a really good source of collagen. Yeah, it's really natural. So, yun na nga. Uh, yeah, at hindi lang yun. Kasi, di ba, kasama na din yung yung proteins, amino acids, and the electrolytes, which is, which is actually good for our body as well. And so, ano-ano yung mga pwede natin kainin na merong collagen? Ah, there's lots actually. Kiwi, berries, almond, avocado, carrots, green, leafy, like arugula, kale, lettuce, green beans, broccoli, also garlic, right? Oysters, fish, salmon, tomatoes, pumpkin seeds, berries. Sobrang dami natin. Um, chia seed, pumpkin seed, sobrang daming source ng collagen na makakatulong sa akin. Right? Um, ayan. So, yung diet, um, most importantly talaga, kasi as in yung Pag kumain ka, as much as possible, eat healthy food. Not yung mga fatty foods. Not yung prinito lang, pritong itlog. Although, fried egg is not really, um, not as bad. It's okay. It's my favorite, but not okay. Um, yeah, instead of frying it, boil it. You know what I mean? And, um, huwag ka lang magprito ng mga kung ano-ano, para lang pag-pritong tuyo kasi gusto ko yung favorite ko yun. But, ah, yeah, yung pritong tuyo, maganda rin siyang source ng collagen kasi yung mga tinik-tunik niya, yun, pwede mo kainin yun, huwag mo nang itapon, huwag mo nang tanggalin. <laughs> kainin mo na. But yes, yeah, seriously, yung mga tuyo, daing, kasi di ba may mga buto siya, yun, pwede rin yung maging source ng collagen. Siguro yun din yung reason kaya bakit hindi ako nagkaroon ng, ng, ng kamot. Kasi nung bata ko, yeah, yun, kumakain kami lagi ng toyo. Tapos kinakain ko yung buto. Yung buto. Pwede ko, tinik. Yes, kinakain ko yung tinik ng mga toyo. Bilis, lahat. Pati ulo. Mm, sarap. Ah, namimiss ko na. Yeah, so anyway. Yun na nga. So, eat a healthy diet. Huwag naman yung laging prinito. O laging Jollibee. Laging McDonald's. Laging, laging na lang junk food. You know what I mean? Um, sobrang kapag kapag gusto mo madaming paraan diba? if you live in a rural area pwede kang magtanim ng sarili mong kamati sarili mong um, garden yeah. kasi uh, we live in, in, in where I lived before meron kaming mga tanim ng kamatis okra eggplant saging right and you know it's really possible makakatipid ka. Sobrang, sobrang dami mong pwedeng gawin sa, sa backyard mo kapag masipag ka lang. Alam mo yun? Okay. And then, of course, uh, yun na nga, moisturize your skin, drink plenty of water. Uh, um, and of course, use a sunscreen, especially if you really must go out of you know, at ma under the sun, especially if you're working. Yeah, so use the sunscreen. Wag mong hayaan na yung, you know, magstay ka under the sun for not longer than 10 minutes, right? Without the sunscreen. And make sure it's like 50 plus and above yung gagamitin mo para hindi madadamage yung skin mo. And of course, um, yeah, iwas tayo sa bisyo. No smoking. Kasi yung pag-smoke, malaki yung nagiging effect mo sa skin mo. Kasi, alam mo yun, 
um, with the drying skin mo, kapag hindi smoke ka. Uh, yeah, well, can't say anything else aside from it's no good for you. Okay? And, yeah. So, punta na tayo dun sa product na ginamit ko. Okay. So, I discuss ko siya. Ta-da! I used Petroleum Jelly. Yan. So, ginamit ko to nung 4 months akong buntis. In every night, bago ako matulog, naglalagay ko yung petroleum jelly dun sa belly part, sa may abdominal part. Tapos, ayun siya. Diba? Alam mo, sobrang daming pwede mong gawin sa petroleum jelly. Like, kung kunwari dry yung lips mo, ilagay mo siya overnight. When you wake up in the morning, sobrang moisturized na yung skin mo. Right? That's the magic of petroleum jelly. O kaya yung, yung sakong mo, kapag medyo matigas siya, ilagay mo siya sa sakong mo, tapos ibabad mo siya overnight, lagay mo ng, ng, ng socks or um, if you can get a um, cling film, ibabad mo siya overnight, petroleum jelly. Imo-moisturize niya talaga. Tapos, hindi lang yun, um, sa kilikili daw, sa underarms, mga singit-singit, ayan. Petroleum jelly is really good. It's like, I don't know, it's like magic for me. Kasi, guys, I tell you, this is a true story. Nung pagkapanganak ko, dun sa panganay ko, he was actually like, mm, seven months old that time. And nung time na yun, yan, nandun kami sa province, and then, dadalhin ko siya sa, for vaccination. And then, what happened was, nagpainit ako ng tubig, kasi di ba, wala kaming heater. <laughs> nagpainit ako ng tubig, tapos, nung nagpainit ako ng tubig, hawak-hawak ko na yung mainit na tubig. Pag tapa ko sa, sa basahan, yung mainit na tubig, tumapon sa mukha ko. As in, itong mukha na to, itong part na to, dito, yan. Tapos, yung mga after, eh, syempre, iyak ako ng iyak after three days, yung mukha ko na to, nangitim siya. As in, sobrang itim. Alam mo yun, kapag yung, pag yung nasunog yung skin mo. Ganun. Alam mo, ang ginamit ko, petroleum jelly. Like, every night. Tapos, umiiyak ako nun, kasi, di ba, pag yung mga, yung mga malalalim na, na, na ano, kasi bagong kulo, di ba? So, bagong kulo lang siya, tapos tumapon siya dun sa skin ko. As in, yung skin ko, sobrang namula. So, ang ginawa ko, una, kaya, I remember cold gate nilagyan ko siya ng Colgate, tapos hinilabusan ko siya. And then, um, nung mga 3 days na, nilalagyan ko siya ng petroleum jelly every night. Every night, pinalagyan ko siya ng petroleum jelly. As in, tong, ano, parang two-faced ako nun. Yung kalahati ng katawan ko, sunog, tapos dito sa part, oh, may part dito. Tapos yung sa bra, na part dito. Yun. Sunog siya. Nilalagyan ko, pinagtsatsagaan ko, every day, araw-araw, nilalagyan ko ng petroleum jelly. Ayun, after, yeah, I think like two weeks, nagbalat siya, wala, 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 as in, walang mark na nasunog yung mukha ko. As in, kaya, that's why I really swear in this product. I really, really love this product. Oh. Yeah. So, ayun, yung ginagamit ko nga siya. So, back to pregnancy and stretch mark. So, from four months, every night, hanggang sa mga anak ako, hanggang sa mag-labor ako, gamit ko ang petroleum gel. As in, religiously, every night, bago ako matulog, petroleum gel. Tapos, iiwan ko na yun. Pa, hanggang sa magising ako, paggising ko, ang ilalagay ko naman, kalamansi. So, hindi ko muna siya babanlawan. So, andun pa rin yung petroleum gel. Kasi, ano we, yun yung magic niya. Parang, hindi siya, um, palalambutin niya yung skin mo. Right? Pero, tapos, hindi ka tulad ng lotion na, nilagay mo yung lotion, paglagay mo ng lotion after a few hours, parang wala na, back to normal na yung skin mo. Yung petroleum jelly, hindi. Pag nilagay mo siya dun sa skin mo, pag gising mo sa umaga, medyo malagkit pa din siya. I know, it's sobrang lagkit, so sticky, but then, it still really, really, really helps. Yeah. So, ayun na nga. Um, yun, pag gising ko, tapos maliligo na ako, nagpipiga ako ng kalamansi, tapos inalalagay ko siya sa belly ko. And then, binababad ko siya for 15 minutes. Okay? So, 15 minutes, pinababad ko yung kalamansi bago ako maligo. Yun. 
'di ba? At hindi ko lang ito inilalagay dun sa 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 belly ko, pati sa 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 kilikili ko. Yeah, you see? Sa kilikili, it's so effective din siya. Hindi mangingitim yung kilikili mo. Ayan. See. Ayan. So, kung wala magkaroon ng stretch mark or not, you know, if, if, if you wanna try what I did, and kung magiging effective sa'yo, why not, right? So, you know, you're, you're, you, when you have, when you have kids you're ready and then you have stretch mark, I don't know, I'm just, it's just me, okay? It could be just me, but I, I'm comfortable. I'm 35 years old and I can, just can wear anything I want without covering the stretch mark. Although, there's no need to cover it because it's beautiful. Again, it's just like, yeah, I'm the lucky one. I'm maybe lucky. Some people say it could be the jeans, but no. My sister gave birth and she has stretch mark as well. And even my... My cousins, I know some of my cousins, not all of my cousins, but some of my cousins, they give birth and they've got stretch mark. So it could be the jeans. It could be the diet. It could be the petroleum jelly. But if you will combine petroleum jelly, the diet, the calamansi, you know, the, the healthy lifestyle, why not, right? Why not have a stretch mark? <laughs> All right. Well, guys, again, um, thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. And again, um, I'm just sharing you my experience. I'm not saying, you know, this is a really, really, really um, advisable or a really, really recommended product. But, you know, this is just my experience. I just wanted to share with you what happened with my experience. I just want to let you know that there's other things and so there's more that you can do to avoid stretch mark okay rather than to to spend a lot more money to get rid of it you know what i'm saying yeah because there's so many products out there to get rid of the stretch mark but from what i heard none of them actually works right so um, instead of spending lots of money to get rid of the stretch mark why not avoid the stretch mark that's just my point. Okay. Well, again, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you guys enjoy and find this video helpful for you. All right. Well, thank you so much. And see you again next time. Bye-bye.